Welcome back. Our next guest has exactly the right idea. He is going to show us the path to happy success. Be honest, you know you want it as much as I do. Please welcome Dr. Richard Ellison. Dr. Ellison, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. I'm very excited to share you with our viewers because I absolutely love what you're doing. And I know that there are people out there who would love to have a path to happy success and have no clue how to get there. So how did you create this? Well, it really started, uh, I was retired for a couple of years. That's all over now. But uh, Retirement didn't agree with you? <laughs> no, I, I played golf two, three times a week and uh, with some pretty successful people. And one day, they, another CEO, I was a CEO, and another CEO retired. He was very successful at a Fortune 500 company. And we just started asking ourselves, why, why, why did we become successful? What's different about us and other people? And then we made it more generic. Why do why do anybody become successful? So I thought I'm going to start studying this a little bit, think about it. Okay. So I uh, then I decided I was going to write a book, and so I did a lot of research for the book, and uh, and most of the stuff I knew, but in order to put it in the book, it, it really became really fascinating as to what makes it easy for someone to become successful. So I'm going to show this to our to our camera and to our viewers. I'll be your Vanna White, okay? So, okay. This is, <laughs> so this is the book, The Career, Happiness, and Success. It sounds like the key to heaven and all things good, if you're asking me, as someone who's had a bit of a windy road. And I've often said that my journey looks like this, and I still, ha fortunately, it's always upwardly mobile, and I have yet to fall <laughs> off the cliff. And if I have fallen, I have fallen to the top of something, which has then lifted me go, to the yeah. next. Yeah. But like you said, we all need, I think, to take the time and examine what gets us to where we're going. But you've taken the time to say, how can we help others get there? So tell us about what's in the book well, what, and tell us well, about the program. What it, we're helping others primarily. I mean, the book itself is, I, I think anyone who wants to, wants to be more successful Ten dollars, they can read it. If, if it doesn't help, and it's not going to hurt them. Okay. But there's a very good chance it's going to help, uh, and I think it, there's a lot of really good stuff in there. But when I was doing the book, I kept reading statistics about college students, and I couldn't believe them. Uh, I didn't really never thought about college kids, but the, the statistics are that 75% change their major once, 33% change it two or three times. Wow. The average time to graduate now is over six years. Which costs then how much? So the cost is like forty or eighty thousand dollars extra, but you also lose two years of income. Right. So you lose a hundred thousand, and then one of the worst things is that, that a large part of your student debt is associated with the last two years. They weren't planned. Your parents couldn't weren't ready for it. They got other kids are going to go to college, and so you wind right. up building up half of your student debt due to being there for two years. But that isn't really the worst. The, the worst is. That in, in doing the research, I found out that the internships are by far the most important thing to get a job when you okay. graduate. Okay. People that had good internships will get hired immediately. Uh, kids that didn't have good internships, it'll take them six to ten months to get hired. And when they do get hired, they get they have to take a job, so they get hired into something that has nothing to do with their major. They and, just need a job. And half of them do something that doesn't require a degree in the first place. Wow. So, so when you keep changing your major, you can't get internships because you don't know what you want to be. You can't win sell yourself because if you, if you know what you want to be, you're committed. So and so, th this doesn't just impact you at college, but it impacts you the rest of your life. If you have a job that you're not happy and passionate about, you're, you're, you're never going to get promoted. You're just going to go to, and, and so many of the people, and I can talk about that later, but uh, a large percentage of American workers are not happy with their jobs and uh, with the college kids it's the same thing they, this 70 percent are going to have a hard time being happy with their jobs so yeah it showed the statistics showed right 70 percent are either disengaged or totally disconnected from what they're doing and they're just there to collect a paycheck right so so i i thought you know i could really help i was working with my grandkids they were helping with the book and uh so i said kids i'm going to come up with a plan to to try to alleviate this situation. So I did a lot of, I, the book has an appendix where I looked at every every uh, methodology now available to help people 
select a career. Mm -hmm. And they're all based on personality. So you take a personality test. I don't know if you've ever done it. I've done a lot of them. But when you do it, you get 50, 40 to 50 careers, bartender to brain surgeon, mm -hmm. with no rationale for deciding whether I want to be a bartender or a brain surgeon. So a lot of people just throw it away and say, well, I don't know what to do with these 40 or 50. So I said, what is missing? And so there, there has to be something missing. Well, it's more than personality. There's also aptitude. Personality is like, what do I, what do I love? Mm -hmm. And aptitude is, what am I good at? But also, you have your interests. What, are, what types of things am I interested in? What, and, and different careers have different relative impact or um, exposure to these things you're interested in. And then the final thing, well, next to the final thing, is uh, what, what are your preferences? Do you like to work? Doesn't matter, 80 hours a week, 40 hours a week, you like to work indoors, outdoors, you like to travel, don't travel. So these and are all the questionnaire that they get to yeah, answer yes. based on their personality. Yeah, so then, and then the last thing is your trait, your natural abilities. And so I came up with a program where you go in a series of, you do, you do a personality and aptitude test, and that gives you initially 15 career areas. And then they, uh, we also use the O asterisk net this is a U.S. Labor Department uh, database for uh, career information. It's phenomenal. When I got into it, it's so much fun. Wow. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's better than playing games, as a matter of fact. Okay. Because there's so much information to learn. So the, we take these 15 career areas, and then we go to ONET. And in ONET, it shows which ones are growth areas, which ones are bright, and it will show you what your salary range is. Oh, what my your, goodness. What your education requirements are. And it'll give you what abilities you need, skills you need. So we, you go through and you, and you pick out out of these bright ones the one that's going to grow. No sense of picking a, a career that's not going to grow. Right. So then you pick three or four careers, specific careers for each career area. So now you have your 40 or 50. So then you put in salary range, growth rate, education requirements, and your general passion, how, how do I think I feel about that? Then you pick one for each one of the career areas. So now you have 15 specific careers. So you're careers. narrowing it you're down narrowing each down. step of the way. And, uh, very important, you're making, people ask me, what, how do we know your algorithm works? Well, it isn't like you put a bunch of data in to get an answer, you are making the decisions all the way. So Got your it. chance of getting a bad one, when you go through the screening, there's no way to get a bad career at the end. Because you screen you've screened it out. you made the choices. Yeah, exactly. So interestingly, just almost connected, in the 11th grade, we were given a vo an avocation vocation test, and it came back and told me that I should be a social worker, an attorney, or a florist. Florist, of course, my brother elbowed me and said, you know that requires physical labor, <laughs> not your thing. <laughs> but if you look at what I do today as an image consultant and executive stylist, I influence people through rational thought and language, so there's my attorney self. I help them achieve their own goals and dreams, there's my social worker self, and every client that comes to me comes as a tight little bud, and we help them blossom, and so there's the florist self. So back when I took the test, there wasn't a title for what I did, it didn't exist yet. But all of the skills and all of the opportunity was there. It took me that windy road <laughs> to get there. So it sounds like what you're doing is straightening the line for people and helping them go a little more directly. Yeah, just a couple of steps in is now you have 15. Now we take your personal interests and personal preferences. And we have a process for you to go through, sort of scientific, to determine what are my interests, what are my key interests, what are my key preferences. And then you. You take your 15 and you measure them against your the salary, growth, education, and your interest, and your preferences, and you grade everything on a 1 to 10 scale. So you're doing, a, this career fits this by 8 or 7 or 10. So you're prioritizing. You're prioritizing. So then you add them up, and the top five are your top five careers. And for you, all those things that wind up being there, you, you would find, when you know that, you would find jobs that required all of those kind of talents that you'd have. Well, and they're saying now, the statistic says that 40% of the jobs that exist today will not exist yes. in 15 years. Yes. So the whole idea is what I'm hearing from you, there's the opportunity to help the high school student and college student make better 
decisions about, about going into a major and also from a major going into a career, but also from someone who's currently in a career where maybe they're not so happy and if they want to make a change, they can use the same test to yeah, make their yeah, focus two, down and help programs. to make a one change. One for students and one for adults who want to change. Perfect. And I could give you some statistics on the adults or just let me finish the, the program. So the last part of the program is you take your natural abilities, your traits, uh -huh. and you take five of those and you get five careers and you grade them on one to 10 scale. Now you get two for the students or three for the adults of your best careers. And then the last thing, it takes you eight to 10 hours to do this. So it's it's well, quick. It's a weekend. <laughs> it's and not a semester study. Not a semester study. Yeah. And then you take two days to Google, uh, look up associations, uh, find people you can talk to, friends of your parents and so forth who are in the, in the industry. Mm -hmm. And you, you take, say, two days of research, the, the last two careers, find out what it's all about and say, which one of these do I know I think I'd really like the best? Then it's your best one. Then for students, there's a way to determine your best major. And and, and all the research I do, the, the kids that win, and it's best to do it in high school. You can do it in a sophomore, junior, uh, even freshman year in college. Mm -hmm. But if you go into college knowing what you want to do and you, you believe that you're going to be good at it and you're passionate about it, your entire college life will be so much less stress. I mean, you'll just have a ball because... And you'll get internships by word of mouth. And you'll have a path to happy success. Path to happy success. And that's where we can find you, right? It's yeah. path to, num numeral two, yeah. happy, H-A-P-P-I, right. success.com. Yeah. So we're going to post that on the website for our viewers to be able to find out more information. Thank you so much for being with us. And we'll put the information up on the screen for our viewers. And we'll be right back.